guys, so this video is going to be a little bit different from my usual videos. Um, the title is Unapologetically Me, as you would see, and basically it's all about self-love and doing what you sort of believe is right, regardless of what that looks like to others, because what really matters is your own happiness. So I think what I've really been trying to do on this sort of path to self-discovery lately, since having Ollie and everything, is just not feeling sorry for my actions. A lot of stuff has happened in my personal life and my family life in particular, um, where I've sort of had to make really tough decisions this year. You guys know I broke up with Reese. Um, my parents got divorced and lots of things have happened where I've had to sort of make tough decisions um, and not always have I made people happy. Sometimes my decisions have made people upset. But at the end of the day, I've done what is best for me and what I know is right by me. There is no point in sort of continuing something on if um, in relationships, for instance, there is no point sort of continuing something on if you know that you're not happy or it's not giving you that happiness anymore, it's not doing what it's meant to do. Um, the same thing with my family, it's been really tough. Basically, I've sort of decided to live with my mum and then the rest of my family aren't okay with that. I'm going to probably do some kind of explanation about what happened with my family because I know some of you guys probably wonder what's going on. Even last year when I was in the early weeks of pregnancy, I think I said I wanted to talk to you guys about what was going on and I never actually ended up filming a video about what is going on with my family and why my videos are patchy sometimes and why sometimes I feel like I'm putting a filter over things. I think a lot of the time I have put a filter over my personality. Um, I try not to as much on YouTube because I haven't told anyone of my friends. I've told my very close circle that I do YouTube, but my friends on sort of Facebook and Instagram have no idea that I do YouTube. And it's kind of like, wow, so I can actually swear um, and do things my family doesn't know about YouTube, except for my very, very close family. And yeah, I just feel like YouTube is one of these platforms where I feel like I can be myself 100% and it is really hard to sort of try to figure out what kind of persona you want to put out there to the world. Do I want people to think that I swear? Do I want to just not swear? And I think, well, fuck it, I swear and this is me and this is my channel so if you don't like it, see you later, it was nice knowing you but this is how I am and I got a tattoo. Um, I got a tattoo, I will show you what I got. It's a little lighthouse um, and I super love it. I've wanted to tattoo my, like, not my entire life, but you know, from when I was like 16, I'm 22 now. I didn't want to go out and get something stupid that I'd regret, but I also didn't want to get something that was super meaningful in case one day my thoughts changed and it would have a different meaning to me. Um, I just thought something really cute and quaint would be nice. And basically my whole one side of my family is like, super against tattoos, like don't like tattoos or anything, so I haven't even told them that I've gotten it. So they're probably watching this right now, outraged, but you know what? I love tattoos and I wanted to fucking get one, so I got one. And it's just about doing things, like I'm not gonna apologize to anyone for being myself anymore. So take it or leave it. I might be the black sheep of the family, whatever, but I have a tattoo and I swear. So welcome to the real me everyone. You guys, I think I said it in my 50 facts about me video. I might link that down below if you haven't seen it, but I did say I don't swear around my family. Basically, I swear around my mum now and I feel myself when I am able to swear. And that might sound silly, but I feel like it's just a way of expressing yourself. Um, when I swear, I, I use it to sort of, I don't know, I just feel like it expresses how I feel a lot better and it's my personality. Lots of people in Australia swear very frequently. So if you're somewhere in the world outraged, that's just what Australia is like. So welcome. But no, with my um, dad's side of the family, sort of, they don't swear, or at least we don't swear around each other. I know some of them swear, but not around certain people. But 
I've always sort of had to held my tongue. Um, I grew up and I would get in trouble for even saying shut up. I, like I grew up and we had dinner at a table every single night and it was sort of, I had a kind of a stricter upbringing and then the older I got the more I was like I just don't feel like I fit into this anymore. Like I don't feel like I want to raise my kids the same way that I was raised and I just feel like I want to be a bit more open and yeah so that's how it is. I used to go out clubbing a lot. I used to go out every weekend and I would get really drunk and I'll admit to that before I had Ollie um, a little like probably a few months before I had Ollie I was still going out before sorry before I got pregnant not before I had Ollie but I got told by some people in my family that it was wrong to be going out every week and it, you know there must be something wrong with me yeah, but um, made to go to psychologists because um, of my drinking problem and like it's just I drank every Friday I didn't think there's anything wrong with that uh, and I still don't think there's anything wrong with that I thought I was an average 20 year old girl just you know having fun I was in a four year relationship before that so I just felt like you know I wanted to go out and have some fun and that's done and dusted now and I'm glad that I got to do that and I'm not sorry about it I've also um, I just don't have the cleanest track record like I I try to be the nicest person all of the time and I try to make everyone happy a lot but sometimes in making someone extremely happy other people are affected by that and get hurt or it's just it's out of my control but I'm on a path in this life to make myself as happy as I can be I don't want to waste this life you only live once mm -hmm. no nah, but seriously like even when I started this channel I felt embarrassed about saying that I had YouTube because people would judge me and I'm so sick of feeling judged especially like you know I'm sick of people I'm sick of thinking oh people are talking about me because I did this people are talking about me because I did that you know what fucking whatever so this video might seem very jumbled up and a lot of just fucking random chit chat but I just really wanted to say if you guys feel like you're not living a life of like who you are or you don't feel like you can be yourself around your family or anything this is your life not their life you can do whatever you want because honestly i feel so much better since i've started to do these things for myself um i would have went my whole life never getting a tattoo if i just wanted to please my family and that wouldn't have been true to myself i just feel like it's such it's such a hard thing to do when you've got a strict upbringing to break away from that or maybe you're brought up with a religion that you don't actually believe in maybe you're gay this video is such a ramble <laughs> i just feel really strongly about doing what makes you happy like no one should live a life where they feel ashamed to be themselves nobody should live a life feeling like they're sort of the bottom tier i'm a university dropout um, you know, like I haven't got my degree, I had a baby young, I went out drinking, I just feel like all these things are seen in such a bad light about me. But I can tell you right now, I'm a good person, I have good morals, and I'm a kind person. And regardless of what people say about me behind my back because they like to gossip, that's that. There are people out there that really do care about me, like they let me know, and they do let me know. And I've got these people in my life that love me and I know they do and they support me they support my decisions um, they support me if I go in and out of relationships or want to change my career path or I get a different passion every other week I want to do something crazy spend my money go on a holiday they actually support me and they give me guidance and they're there for me and they support me with Oliver and they love Oliver and they want to be in his life and so I'm not sorry if I have done something that has offended you, such as getting a tattoo or swearing in my videos, because this is me and I am unapologetically myself. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not already and like this video if you are unapologetically yourself, because you should be. And yeah, have a fantastic rest of your day, guys. I love you all so much. Ciao for now. Bye. I just don't.
give a fuck. 